Well, this is my final night with the S1000. Knocked off work about eight o'clock. We're just out in the sunset now. It's such a lovely night. The S1000 goes back early tomorrow morning, back to BMW. There's Andy on his trusty R1. And we've got to give this back. Got to give it back. Don't want to give it back, really. Want to keep it. Want to call it mine. Never mind. Right. So, as a final farewell, even on the Nordschleife, it felt like I wasn't using all of the power. But there's a really good thing about living in Germany and having very fast machinery. And that is we have something called the Autobahn. So let's head up there. What stands before us is the A1, one of the original autobahns of Hitler's Germany. And one of the best things about living in Germany, living next to the Nürburgring, is not only do we get to rattle around the Nürburgring Nordschleife on a basically daily basis, uh, we also have an autobahn about 20 minutes from the office, uh, and that's where we are. And Andy here is on his... Ta-da! 2005 R1, completely standard engine. Slightly revised gearing, BST carbon wheels make a big difference to acceleration, and Dynajet quick shifter. We'll see if this makes a difference against what 180, 190 brake horsepower. Not quite as um, friendly to use quick shifter. Uh, Dynamax about the same. Both got six big gearboxes. Starting first. See what happens. Yep, let's go. Okay, so that's what 300 kilometers per hour feels like. What a shame it's restricted. Restricted. Restricted to 300 kilometers per hour. That's positively mental. <laughs> <laughs> 